Lucy, you're looking a wee bit puffy at the moment. What? The bags under your eyes are starting to dominate. Now, a town like this tends to lend itself to an overactive imagination. Why are we settling for such blatant banality? I like it. What do you think? I think it's sensational. Join me in starting a new existence within ourselves. Come on, huh? Who's with me? I am golf shite. Well, you're lost. You don't have any hobbies. I know about cheese. Worst of all, you don't have a boyfriend. Morning, miss. Worst of all. I'm just worried about you. Boy, you're a mess. I wasn't always like this. It's coming up for a year now. Let's move to California! Get a massive fruit! A therapist! We have to Lucy. Sometimes it feels like the world's gone deaf. I can't tell if they can't hear me or they're ignoring me. Why are you so happy all the time? What? Stop smiling. What do you mean? Stop smiling. Stop smiling. I'm not. I'm not. I can offer you a life more magic than any mushroom ever picked. It's all there for us in our heads. The secret to a perfect existence. I read your novel. It has potential, so I'm going to publish it. <laughs> I've never been so happy in all my life. Best new writer, Jane Lockhart. <laughs> when she's writing, she's like a guided missile. I love Billy. He makes me happy. Where is my novel? I'm working on it. How's the new book doing? Oh, it's cooking. <laughs> I don't know. She's baking. She only bakes when she's blocked. Oh, he's still blocked. You want to make Jane Lockhart's life a misery so she'll finish writing a book? That's seriously messed up. We could cure her dog. I don't know she had a dog. We could buy her one and then kill it. We get rid of Willie. He's a talentless hack. Hey. <laughs> Our deal is one more book, and then what's done is done. I made a mistake, and I can't take it back. You can't write the ending because once it's finished, you'll hear no reason to see Tom ever again. You don't really get to choose your ending. It has to follow naturally, or it doesn't feel true. Not ever. Got me the way you did. Do you love her? There is something I need to tell you. Tim is a healthy adult who represents no danger to himself or anyone else. And I believe he should be discharged. Hey, little brother. I found it. What do you mean? We only have a few days. A few days for what? To keep our promise and kill it. My name is Kaylee Ann Russell. The purpose of today's experiment is to prove that the object behind me is responsible for at least 45 deaths in the four centuries of its recorded existence. And we got a new home. So we get new furniture. It's a bit ostentatious, though, don't you think? Hey, Dad. Who's that lady in your office today? What lady? We were just kids. We made up a scary story so we wouldn't have to accept the fact that our father was a sick man who killed our... Mom? Why don't we just end it right now and smash the damn thing? 
First, I intend to prove that the people I've just described were victims of the supernatural force that resides in that mirror. You want to redeem the family name? You promised me you'd never forget what really happened. I was 10 years old. Daddy? Tim? Tim. Snap out of it! Group. Welcome to detention. Spencer, Bethany, Fridge, Martha. You're all here for a reason. Hey, person walking! You should be thinking about who you are and who you want to be. You'll have plenty of time to figure that out while you're cleaning out the basement. Are you gonna help or are you too pretty? I'm too pretty. Yo, what's this? A game for those who seek to find a way to leave their world behind. Jumanji. Pick a character and you're that person in the game. Which one do I pick? I don't think it matters that much. Oops, Finbar. Sounds like a badass. I'll be the curvy genius. Dr. Smolder Bravestone. I guess I'm Ruby Roundhouse. Where's the rest of me? Oh my god. Fridge? Yeah, I'm Fridge. Who are you? It's me, Spencer. Who is she? Martha? Why am I wearing half a shirt and short shorts in the jungle? I think we got sucked into Jumanji and we become the avatars we chose. So that means Bethany? Oh, wait, Bethany? Don't look at it! <gasps> I'm an overweight middle-aged man. Well, I don't have my Claritin, and all I see around here is Paula. Well, I don't have a top two feet of my body. Damn, that is a man right there. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry, it's gonna be okay. Welcome to the jungle. This is a video game, which means we all have special skills. Why am I running so slow? That was so intense. I like can't even with this place. Watch your step in here. Maybe we're all in a coma. What? That old game machine must have electrocuted us and now we're all... Oh my god! You better get in there and save her. I'm not gonna get in there. You get in there. I got a backpack on. You don't get in water with a backpack. Everybody knows that. I come from Earth, a planet of outlaws. My name is Peter Quill. There's one other name you might know me by. Star-Lord. Who? Well, Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw. Guys? Forget it. So here we are. A thief. Two thugs. An assassin and a maniac. But we're not gonna stand by as evil wipes out the galaxy. I guess we're stuck together. Partners. Are you telling me the fate of 12 billion people is in the hands of these criminals? Oh, yeah. You know what I see? Losers. But life's giving us a chance to 
do what? Something good? Something bad? A bit of both. Oh, what the hell? I don't got that long a lifespan anyway. They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. This might not be the best idea. Ah, what time? 